<coughs> Dearly departed assorted spirits and spectres, welcome. I'm so glad you could join us tonight, although I'm sure most of you are unaware that you will be attending this evening. But you're here now, so let's not spoil the fun. Uh, just a quick note before we begin. Uh, if your untimely demise brought you here due to being hit by a bus or due to impact with the earth after a fall from a great height, uh, please remain calm while your morphic field figures out that you're not as flat as a pancake. <laughs> and uh, to, to all the burn victims, uh, kindly note that there is no smoking allowed here. Uh, now, as you can see, I am not deaf. I am his assistant, Hornby. Uh, while, while the Dark Master did wish to welcome you all to the afterlife personally, sadly he is uh, terribly busy at the moment, what with all these um, politics going on. Anyway, as you can sense, you are now dead. Your consciousness is slowly dissolving away. Soon you won't know who you were, or what you did, or, or anything like that. And in no time at all, your sense of time will disintegrate. Here you is only one moment of eternal existence. Uh, why? Why? Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, the, uh, the existential technicians tell me it's to save space in the universe's memory, but they also talk about inherent resonance and unspecified anomalies. Uh, so, uh, so, by the end of this, no, by the end of the next sentence, most of you will be nothing more or less than a single eternal thought. So, please, for the love of your chosen deity, don't let your last thought be, oh shit, 